speaking of hair, isn't it so crazy that this episode is about hair and everybody has hair and to think. And I just so wanted sad. to make this little segment an awareness segment because from Masa Amini's story, this is a 22 year old girl. She was visiting Tehran with her brother. A little bit of her hair was showing. The police threw her in the car and her head hit the some part of the van. Mm -hmm. And in the police custody, she dies. From that, people were outraged and everybody started protesting because why are we still worrying about our hair showing? Like, woman's rights, everybody's equal. Like, let's live. Let's let everybody live how they want to live and show yeah. their hair. Like, if you don't want to, more power to you. Right. But for the people that don't find it that important, you know, maybe not, maybe not. And it's, that it's, important. Country, it's not the right it's word. It's more but... like a woman's rights issue in Iran itself. Yeah. Because when you are a female in Iran, so I moved from Iran to Canada when I was 10 years old. And specifically because my mom didn't want me to go through different things that she went through that kind of hold you back from your full potential and from being able to be a successful female in that country. I remember at 10 years old, actually 11 years old, I went back to visit a year after we moved to Canada and a little bit of my ankle was showing because I was wearing one of those like capri pants. And this police guy was standing outside and looking at what's wrong with females and throwing them in the room and saying you're facade to the community. And my mom's like, my 11 year old daughter's ankle is facade. So that's the type of treatment people in the country get. Anybody that was born in America or Canada could never understand. Right. Literally nobody could ever understand I could what never any female goes through. Imagine what it would be like to not be able to wear my and the like, hair. And the hair thing is just one of it. It's, 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 females can't attend sporting events. Really? Females can't dance or sing in public. There's so many rules for females that is not equivalent to men. Pretty much you're lower than us and you can't do everything else as we can from a men's perspective. That's so So this crazy. is more than just showing hair. This is like a woman's rights issue. It's the same issue as here with the abortion. So I don't want to get into the abortion thing, but right. I want to get back into what I was speaking about, which is what's actually going on. So from the protests that arose from Massa Amini's death, 14,000 people that were quietly protesting were taken and thrown in jail and they are about to get murdered. 14,000 innocent people that were quiet. Women, right? Is it all women or is it all men no, or does it not matter? It's, it's a mixture of people, females, males. Some of them are like YouTubers. Some of them are TikTokers. Some of them are university students. They were quietly protesting for the death of this girl to bring women's rights into the country and right. they're literally thrown in jail and they were sentenced to be all murdered at the same time right before they die they're also sentenced to be assaulted sexually assaulted so they are not entering heaven when they die i actually haven't seen it in my feed at all yeah so i've been posting about it on my stories a lot that's why i'm talking about it here so my goal with this is to bring awareness. Absolutely. Please talk to people about it. I don't care if you have 100 followers, 10 followers, 20,000 followers. I don't care. Post on your story about it. What you can do to help right now is spread awareness. And there's a petition. I posted it on my Twitter. I'm going to post it on my Instagram and I'm going to link it here as well. Yeah. Please take 20 seconds to sign this petition so we can try to bring a change because I want nothing more to hear what we're doing and trying to get the word out has caused some sort of like disrupt in this like mission that they're about to kill all these people. I have nothing else to say and I really wanted to like make that be the first thing we talk about on the podcast before we get into anything else. And For I, sure. I think everything with this situation, any other situation, everything revolves around money and all these countries are just worried about who's making more money off of what and they're behind the scenes deals that we don't even know anything about, which yeah. trickles down to the whole recession situation that we're going into. And we're not in a recession right now yet, but we're definitely heading towards that. And we wanted to kind of go into that type of subjects and, and talk yeah. about that. You know, everyone's like, oh, we're not in a recession. We're we're not in a recession yet, but we're heading down so many avenues of it. Like for example, the interest rate is higher on like purchasing homes right now than it was a couple of, I don't know, months ago, maybe a couple of years ago. If you have a business, people aren't buying as much. Everyone's totally. more like, is it the word frugal? 
Yeah. Everyone's more frugal with their money. Everyone's yeah. more I heard this from from another creator. They were like, if you're spending five hundred dollars, now it's like a thousand dollars. You have yeah. to think so of it like double me, what you're spending. Yeah, totally. For me right now with hair, not only is there a supply chain issue, we have a massive supply issue in the salon right now. A hair color tube normally is like eight dollars and fifty cents ish. It's actually like raised itself by a couple of cents, but those couple of cents, because you're buying one thing at a time, it starts to add up and it's pretty crazy how that's affecting everything. It's not only like, it, everything is just a supply chain issue. Yeah. It's a cost effective issue. Everything costs more, or even there's a cement shortage. I have a friend that's like trying to build a house right now and there's like this crazy cement Yeah, my shortage. parents' antique store, like their sales have declined. So we actually wanted to give you guys a few tips on what you could do to save some of your money, be more aware. Like one of the things I personally have cut back on is ordering takeout. Yeah, Every time here. you order Uber Eats, it's like 50 bucks. 50 bucks on Amazon Fresh gets me chicken, steak, um, salmon, rice, fruits. The whole thing, by going into what I kind of wanted to go into with it in terms of like the recession and how we can save tips. We should look at, I have this app on my phone, it's called Rocket, and it actually will itemize everything that I make a purchase for, and then it allows me to figure out how much I spent on food, what my actual bills are, what comes out of this credit card, what comes out of that credit card, That's and it's cool. really nice because it like just structures everything, and I think that can help a lot of people to kind of just understand what you're spending your money on. Yeah. And we really need to know what we're spending our money on if we want to save, because we need to start saving, especially if like jobs become a shortage as well which they kind of are-ish. Like, yeah. there's not really good jobs. I think it's the holidays I now, think, so there's I, a good I amount of jobs. I also think everybody but... was so used to getting that free check during COVID. So that was like free money. So people started doing more Amazon orders. Like, I know a lot of my friends that don't be making that much money and th every day they're ordering something off Amazon. Every day, if you're eating, even ordering $20 off of Amazon, times 20, times yeah. 30 days. times 30, yeah. And you're and ordering more than $20 a day on Amazon. You order a couple of things, it's 50, 100. For you sure. You know, you're spending a few hundred. Like, another really cool money Money saving hack is this app you can download that rounds up any purchase that you make and it puts the decimal amount into your savings account. So for example, you spent $20.79 at a store, it will take that 21 cents and it will throw it into your savings account and so on and so forth. So you can literally be saving as you're spending money to I actually have done that with the rest one of those money. apps. You subscriptions. Just, subscriptions, that's a huge one. I've canceled. Ara years. kills me for the. Yo, she subscribed to like <laughs> Hulu, Netflix, Paramount, Amazon Prime, I'm Peacock, <laughs> uh, HBO, Stars. No. I mean, <laughs> stop, stop subscribing to all this shit. Just get YouTube and educate yourself on YouTube because that's No, the one, I don't believe in thing. that. For me, I'm a book reader. I would much rather read a book. I so I books. rather get <laughs> my education from a book. Okay, but let that's me rephrase that. I don't different. hate books. I moved to Canada when I was 10 years old. So I didn't get a full alphabetical understanding in Iran or in America. I, it was like a half-ass, um, can it, Farsi, half-ass, yeah. Canadian, just trying to figure out what words even mean to let alone yeah. understand yeah. crazy wording of things. I understand where you're coming from. It's because like English is my first language. Yeah. So <laughs> for me, it's a lot easier for me to like understand yeah. words. I mean, particular. you started in kindergarten here too. So it's like you it's learn everything the proper way. I don't know. Well, you're like, <laughs> That's a whole other perspective. Whole other it's all perspective. <laughs> Don't even get me started on the education system because I will. No. Yeah, no, it's, it's, you know, all perspective. Another money saving tip or hack is to actually call like your insurance company, car insurance. Let's say it's like $1,900. One way of saving is to not pay it monthly. You can actually just pay the whole thing full up front. But if you don't have the money for that, you can even like take things off or negotiate with them and say, well, you know, like, here's what, what my budget. What are paying for? So they break yeah, it down. For exactly. You need to be and you basically for? tell them your budget and they'll get you right in that sweet spot to where you need to be. But a 
really good way of saving, which I've done, is to just pay the whole thing. Pay the whole premium, because you actually save like almost $500. Yeah, you're not paying Which is a really good amount of money. That's another thing for me, is I try to avoid things that are interest. Like, if you're buying a car, put more down. Totally. So your monthly payments aren't so much, and you're not paying interest so much. But what if you don't have the money, right? So here's the other option. If you don't have that money, which sometimes we just don't, find a way, talk to people, ask that person that's on the phone with you, and tell them, here's my budget and here's where I need to be, and they'll do it for you. Negotiate. Yeah, they'll work around it for you and help you out. The nicer you are on the phone, trust me, the more things you're gonna get out of life. What I personally used to do, because I, I started working when I was 13, 14 years old, whatever the legal working age was in my Wow, country. in Canada, it's that young? Yeah. That's cool. I think it's 14, but like 13, I was just like little like Santa's helper, like doing uh, Christmas presents, like yeah, at the yeah. store. Mm-hmm. What I would do with all my money, like let's say I made like $700 or something, mm-hmm. I would take 300 and say, okay, 300 is money I'm allowed to spend, and then I would put 400 in my savings. That's actually all what I'm doing right now I actually yeah. take out $200 a week so that I can save up because I want to like save up like $10,000 without having to have this big bulk amount of money yeah. so that I can save it up really quick it's a lot easier when you just take it off every paycheck let's say your paycheck yeah. is like 2700 yeah 700 is you don't figure have out what your monthly income is and then say okay how much are my bills separate from that that extra money that you have that's literally and liquid. And like you don't have that money. Exactly. It doesn't exist. I, you know when I say I'm broke? When my spending money is coming down, I'm never dipping into my savings. Well, when that's people, a big problem When have. people start inviting me out, Lord. let me explain to you how expensive going out is. It's You're so paying expensive. for Uber there, Uber back. You're paying for a dinner and drinks somewhere. And you bought the outfit, you bought the makeup, you bought the shoes, you bought the bag. It's expensive to go out. Like Yes, it is. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. So that's why I cut back on going out a lot. Honestly, low key, like staying at home is kind of nice. You can read a book, you can teach yourself things. <laughs> <laughs> Me just trying to convince the whole world to become um, introvert. Body. <laughs> yeah. She's like, stay at home like, with me. We go back to lockdown because I love that shit. No, <laughs> but yeah, without the actual disease part and killing part and you, of it. You were telling me something about the insurance thing. What was it? How? Well, there's a way to save money with the insurance. You just went over it, right? That was the last thing? Yep. That was it. I did it. Am I was five? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Here's five ways to save money during you just not having money or this potential recession recession that's coming up. Number one, cut down on eating out and spend more time grocery shopping and just cooking at home instead of ordering Uber Eats and going out to eat. Number two, cut down on your subscriptions and extra expenses and things that aren't adding value to your life and they're just draining your bank account. Get better rates for your insurance. And then, that you have, whether it be car insurance, health insurance, any type house, of insurance, home. dog insurance. Yeah. I mean, sky's the limit in terms of insurance. And see, be like, negotiate. Yo, what am I paying for? Break it down for me. I don't need all these extra add-ons. Yeah. Take them off of my bill. Add a spend saving app to your accounts, like to your bank accounts. Link your bank account, save your money with some type of spend saving type of app, or ask your bank to round up to the nearest dollar for whatever you spend and use that as a form of savings. Or just take some percentage of your paycheck every month. and Or take the actual money out out yourself, yeah. Yeah. Be the app. Be the app. (laughs) Uh, You also, when you're doing that, you physically understand how much you're putting into your savings. Which is probably better than some random app doing it for you. And then sometimes you're like, oh, Maybe I can put an extra 200, you know? I made extra this week, this month. Okay, let me put extra. Totally, things. yeah. But be smarter and we're all gonna get through this. We are. And also, don't it. forget to sign that petition. Let's all help Iran get back to where it was 43 years ago because I would love yeah. to go back and be able to not have to wear a hijab, not have to worry about not being equal. Hey, you and we want to bring a little bit more value into your life. Some episodes might have a little bit more fun, fun, things. fun <laughs> topics in it, but yeah. we will try to have a balance of everything. Yeah, we want to be versatile and, and we hope that we can do that. So Thank again, you. like, comment, subscribe. Bye. Bye.